All right, here's small block Chevy 383 clearancing crank and rods part three. The crank is out of it, as you can see. Uh, here's one piston, one rod that I used. I did two of these. See, it's all full of shavings. This is not the parts that I'm using, obviously. I had to pin fit this end to get the pin in. Uh, put two rods, one in each hole. And as I spun it around, usually, usually it's this area right here on this whole side. There's another spot, another spot, and another spot. Grinding right, right here. The rod bolt clearance. There's a factory mark in there, but you got to make it a little bit bigger. And I had to do a little bit on this side, right here. Same on that spot. And that one. And that one. All I'm using is just a bit for metal, not for aluminum. You know, they come in different sizes, different pieces. You can use an air grinder, you can use a Dremel, you can use an electric grinder. It doesn't matter. All work the same. But I put two rods, two pistons in. See, this isn't even locked in. It's just laying in there, mocked up, no rings. And you spin it and find out where you gotta where the rod bolt's gonna hit. And just grind your clear. Don't grind too much here. Cause you'll go into the water jacket. I've never went into the water jacket because you're only taking off a little bit. So that'll be it for part three and clearancing that's done. Now I gotta wash this block and get rid of all the shavings.